All right, this is lesson eight, question number 17. Um, part of this, you may want to look at uh, question 16, the, uh, the video explanation that I have up on the website here, because um, it's really, you, you could potentially be running into the same problem. The only difference between question 16 and 17 is 17 is a three-dimensional problem, and really, it doesn't actually uh, affect our process here. So in order to do work, work is force dot the displacement vector, or u dot v, I'll write in the note, but uh, u is your force vector, d is the displacement. The trick to this, and I talked about this in video 16, but you need to find uh, a unit vector for the force because it tells us direction, all right? It's in that direction, but that vector has its own magnitude, and we don't want its magnitude. I want a magnitude of 1 because I just want the direction from that vector. So, for example, I'm going to call it a vector, negative 2, 1, and 5. The magnitude of this vector is not 1, all right? So all I want from this vector is its direction because I know I want the magnitude to be 30. So if I have the unit vector, that gives me a magnitude of 1, so I can scale it up or multiply it by the 30, and I have the direction of this original vector. So I'm going to look for a hat. I'm looking for unit vector. So that is 1 over the square root of. So we're looking for the magnitude of that vector. So we'd have 4 plus 1 plus 25. So that's 1 over root 30. Negative 2, 1, and 5. All right. So right now, this one has magnitude of 1, and we have the direction of a vector. And that's what we really want. So I'm going to bring it back across to the main question. So I'll just leave a little bit of space here. So if I go 1 over root 30 multiplied by negative 2, 1, 5. So right now that has a magnitude of 1, okay? And it has the direction of the original vector, but I don't want it to have a magnitude of 1. I want to have a magnitude of 30, so I'm going to multiply that by 30. So now I have that magnitude dot. My displacement is the vector AB. So I have 30 over root 30, negative 2, 1, and 5. Dot the vector AB, which is B minus A. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Negative 1 take away 1 is negative 2. And 2 take away 5 is negative 3. Nice small numbers. Again, when you're doing dot product, I can leave that 30 over root 30 until the end. And negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. 1 times negative 2 and negative 15. So that gives me a total of negative 19. So 19 times root 30. Actually, I'm going to show you a bit of math trickery here. So I'm going to go 30 multiplied by negative 19 over root 30. I'm not going to bother doing the calculation. You're going to say that doesn't match up with the book. As I said in the example for number 16 as well, in the maths, engineering, computer sciences, we can't allow uh, a, root, a square root or a radical in the denominator, so we have to rationalize the denominator. Hopefully you've seen that in your grade 11 or 12 courses prior. So now we're going to multiply that. And now I get 30 times negative 19 times the square root of 30 over 30. Oops. And here's where an example where you go into the calculator too early. It's just extra work. 30 to cancel out. And we end up with negative 19 square root of 30. And now you're looking at my answer saying, no, it's still not the right answer, and no, it's not. All right, so if you're just calculating this out, uh, you're going to have the right answer at the previous stage here, but if you want to know why they got their exact answer, remember that, so I'll just jump out for a second, the square root of 30 is equal to the square root of um, 4 Oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. That must be the answer. I'm not, I don't have the answers in front of me, but I assume that's what it is. Here. So there's your final answer. 
for your jewels, negative 19 root 30. So keep in mind, if you're going into a math program, you want to be comfortable getting to this stage here. If you're going into some of the other programs, like I know for myself, I did civil engineering. They weren't too worried about uh, doing the exact value like this, just because we kind of round everything up for safety factor anyway. Uh, but there are some programs that want you to be able to get to that stage. So keep that in mind. Uh, the majority of your mark for when I'm assessing, um, probably at this stage right here, I'm going to be giving you full marks anyway. Um, because to me, the, the vector work, the, the grade 12 work is done. But there may be the expectation for you to go that extra distance in your first year university course. So please keep that in mind uh, moving forward. So hopefully that helped uh, clear up any of your issues.